Hello. I pray that you are well today. We continue in the book of Exodus and we continue with a third type of law. There's the moral law, the Ten Commandments. There's a civil law, my ox gores your ox, I owe you a new ox. And there's the ceremonial law, the law around the presence of God, the law around worship, the law around how people interact with God. And in this situation, the law around the movable church called the tabernacle. How many churches have you been connected to in your life? Well, the children of Israel didn't have a place. They had a movable place called the tabernacle. And it says this statement. In Exodus 25, verse 1, Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell the Israelites to bring me an offering. You receive the offering for me from everyone whose heart prompts them to give. Now, that's interesting. Any heart that's prompted to give. These offerings are to receive from them gold, silver, bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, fine linen, goat hair, ram skins dyed red, another type of durable leather, acacia wood, olive oil for the light, spices for the anointing oil, and for the fragrant incense, and onyx stones and other gems to be mounted on the ephod and breastplate. Then have them make a sanctuary for me, and I will dwell among them. Make this tabernacle and all its furnishings exactly like the pattern I will show you. So God has a very specific set of laws, of ceremonial laws. Make a tabernacle, that is a moving church. Make the furnishing exactly as I told you. They talk about making the ark. Have them make an ark of Achaia wood with two and a half cubits long and a cubit and a half wide and a cubit and a half high and overlay it with pure gold, both inside and out, and make gold moldings around it. This is, he talks about the table. Make a table of Acacia wood. Two cubits long and a cubit wide and a cubit and a half high. And the lampstand, make the lampstand of pure gold. And the tabernacle, make the tabernacle with ten curtains of finely twisted linen and blue and purple and scarlet yarn and cherubim woven by them by a skilled worker. All the curtains are to be the same size. Twenty-eight cubits long and four cubits wide. Chapter after chapter. Exodus 25, 26, 27 and 28. The detail of the altar and the burnt offering, the courtyard, the priestly garments, the ephod, the breastplate, other priestly garments. The reality of how God wants to be worshipped. It's significant to note that in the Old Testament, God said, you will follow these laws. You will worship me in this way with these things. In the New Testament now, God says you and I are the temple of the Holy Spirit. It seems that the nature of the indwelling of the Spirit of God after the reality of Pentecost, and as he sets up the children of Israel, there is the moral law, there is the civil law, and there's a ceremonial law. How do you relate and in what spaces and places do you relate? And I say this to you, no matter where you're listening to me, God is with you now. He's not caught in a building. He's not caught in a church. He is present with you. And never will he leave you and never will he forsake you. Please pray with me. Lord God, we give you thanks that you come into our presence. Where two or three gather in your name, there you are in the midst. In your word, you are present with us. Strengthen us. Bless us and help us that we might indeed live the way you would intend. In Christ's name, amen. God bless you today.